This is my 19, my solo outboard from the 1980s. It was made in West Germany by a chainsaw manufacturer. Just like the um, McCulloch outboards of the United States. They bought the rights from the Volvo Penta company in the early late 70s or early 80s and started making these motors, even though there's absolutely nothing the same between them. Under the hood here, there's a Rico a um, Bendix gear starter like on the OMC 15s, a Bing carburetor wedged down there, and an air filter. There's the carburetor. It also has a crazy magneto system that has the coil moving on the outside of the flywheel opposed to on the inside. It runs relatively well, but in order to get it running was a very big challenge. Opposed to this little Thor single I got, same meat, which took absolutely nothing. Um, we had to shorten it from a long shaft to a short shaft, which wasn't that hard because it has a hollow drive shaft. So we just cut off, down the drive shaft five inches and made it and put a bolt on the inside and pinned it. It's water cooled and it has a thermostat in the back over there. This is how it runs. There's not too many of these running on the internet, so I'm assuming that they're relatively rare to work. It also has this nice little handle here, which is made out of cheesy plastic with these little gimpy clips right here. That's the only thing that's the same between them and the Volvos is the, is the thumb screws here. Pumps water out of there, which is good because it's literally impossible to work on the propeller because it doesn't come apart. And that's my 1980s solo four horsepower outboard.